why not get into the true and anecdotal territory here is monkey business false and fabricated insurance claims are dime a dozen insurance claims are perceived as victimless crimes equally it is legion that insurance policies are so one sided that they were printed only on one side in great britain lord denning was stringent in his criticism as he warned beware of insurance contracts more often than not what the bigger clause gives the smaller clause takes it away groucho marx was even more pungent and cynical in his own signature style i have always known that insurance policies belong to a special species while it would offer cover for a fall from a height it would however exclude the actual fall yes the language used in such insurance contracts are legal mumbo jumbo and jargon so far so that ordinary mortals find it difficult to gauge the length breadth and depth of what they have gotten into and more often than not neither the insurer nor the community that sells the product can either understand a word of it or explain it satisfactorily except as is comfortable and convenient to the consumer's ears it all happened several years ago one early morning the landline rang as a rattled advocate friend was calling hey my sister has gotten into serious trouble she has a small time desktop publishing unit she has borrowed heavily from a bank and got the unit insured as well she got a tantalizing order from an overseas entity to print and supply several thousand copies of a research paper it was for a prestigious institution and if she could do it good and well it could be the start of a financially healthy relationship she was desperate to meet the deadline and was burning the midnight oil yesterday as she was working overtime suddenly two desktop units in use conked out one after the other she could not revive them her call to the insurance agent got a reply that was disdainful and dismissive it appears he told her madam with electronic items what happened is pass they work and work well when they do but at times they can go cranky as cranky goes for no reason at all if there was no alien impact and it was an electronic default nothing can be done as such risks are not covered under the insurance policy anyway get to me in the morning let me see if any help can come your way my sister was inconsolable as this was her maiden venture and a major order it could make or break her career she was devastated that if the insurance claim did not come through she may turn a debtor and insolvent can you please advise us unquote i calmly heard him out it was a tale of woe as any other distressed insurance claim call i confirmed that his sister had availed a standard fire and special perils insurance policy the unit was running in the outskirts of chennai it was an asbestos terraced temporary construction and his sister was assisted by three helpers the roof was high with girders running across and it was on rented premises with rental dues if added the non settling of the claim would overwhelm the entrepreneur i verified and confirmed that no claim was as yet lodged with the insurance company and the agent was contacted only for a few minutes as he was irritated by the call at an ungodly hour i asked my friend to take down the claim intimation letter dear sir it ran like this i have availed an standard fire and special insurance policy with your reputed public sector insurance company for the period dot 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 in respect of the desktop publishing unit on the said date when we were desperately at work to meet a tough deadline for an export order at about 18 hours in the evening suddenly out of the blue a couple of monkeys entered the premises when one of our helpers tried to shoo them away with a huge stick they climbed the roof and sat on the girders above the helper tried to chase them out and one of the monkeys in the mealy fell from the roof on one of the desktop units jumped over another and then escaped ever since the two desktop units have not been functioning kindly register my claim send a license to surveyor to assess the claim and expeditiously settle the same as we have a timeline to keep to comply with the orders at work your immediate and positive response would be highly appreciated ran the letter 
The same day in the morning, a senior and experienced surveyor visited the premises of the entrepreneur. He reported this to the insurer. Quote, In my 40 years as a surveyor, this is the first instance I have encountered such an unusual claim. As I entered the insured premises, two monkeys were seen prancing and jumping about across the girders on the roof. I have appended digital photographs of the same. My inquiries reveal that this area was infested with monkey visits, recent newspaper research reports of municipal action to rid the menace were annexures. I am satisfied that there is a basis to accept the claim of the insured and it was a sudden fall of the monkeys on the desktop publishing units which was the proximate cause of cessation of the operation of the same. The insurer may decide the claim in accordance with the terms and conditions of the standard fire and special perils policy of insurance. Then he assessed the claim as to the net liability that may be payable by the insurer if the claims were satisfied. Based on the set findings of the surveyor, the claim for replacement or reinstatement of the affected units were satisfied. The insurer took the legal opinion that the claim was admissible under the standard fire and special insurance policy. There was admissible coverage for loss or damage to insured assets from impact by animal, tucked away in a remote corner of the contract of insurance, mostly unseen, unread, unappreciated and untapped in two of the clauses for redressal of genuine claims. Twin lessons one can learn from this musing. Firstly, until the insurance companies are compelled to draft such contracts of insurance in simple English, it would be advisable to consult an expert from minute one of the occurrence of loss. Imagine the claim being without invoking the monkey clause. The girl's business career may have ended with the loss. It would make robust common and legal sense to verify the surrounding facts and circumstances of the claim before pedantically pursuing it. Secondly, if the claims are otherwise genuine and bona fide, beating the insurer at their own game is no fraudulent act. Law is a contract. Law is language. It requires craft, cunning, dexterity, smart wordplay and above all, knowledge, exposure and experience that alone can rescue the distressed with deserved succor and relief, which is the paramount intention of such contracts of insurance. One can explain such advice in Nani Palkiwala's famous construct as the subtleties between avoidance and evasion in taxes that matter. No taint or illegality may then be associated. How else can one answer the pangs of conscience?